Okay, so the next few practice tricks are designed to develop different speeds and widths of vibrato and to learn to control speed and width in real time when you're actually playing. Okay, let's talk about um, width and speed. They're unrelated, they're both important. Um, width usually, we, we try to get a wider vibrato when we're playing louder. With a lot of us, that happens naturally. Sometimes you have to think about it, right? So if I, if I start to vibrate kind of softly, the more you want to project, you do want that vibrato mechanism to open up. Um, also, low sounds, uh, just low pitches, should get sl a slightly wider vibrato than high ones. Um, and speed is really un often goes together with width, but it, technically it's unrelated. So you can have a very fast but wide vibrato, or you can have a slow but narrow vibrato as well. So here's some tips for controlling your size and your speed. Okay. Um, basically, for me, a bigger vibrato has a looser hand. I feel the looseness in the center of my hand. I try to actually let the other fingers, the ones that aren't vibrating, be really loose really kind of almost uh, floppy feeling and sort of separate so that you don't want to have your fingers all together if you're trying to have a wide swing because that's going to narrow the base of the hand it's going to make you tighter okay so if you're working on getting looser think about creating extra space in the hand right so the the extreme of this would be for my fourth finger which tends to be tight i'll often come way out with the hand to get that swing as opposed to staying close, which makes it more narrow. Um, if you're looking to tighten up on your vibrato, and by tight I don't mean physically tight, I mean just make it a little narrower, more refined, I would keep the fingers closer together, closer to the fingerboard and more curved, right? Right, you see I have more structure in the hand, you can even put fingers together. So just feel a little bit more organized in your hand shape here. You can also play copycat with your fingers. Um, basically, if you have a finger that's doing something that you really like and you have a finger that's kind of wild and wooly, you can train yourself by putting both fingers down um, and then lifting one to get that same mechanism. So for example, for me, my three is pr nice and big. That's how I like it, actually. My two tends to be a little bit more wristy. It's a little, I just, just, I'm not crazy about it. Let's put it that way. So sometimes I will put both fingers down together like this on the, on the fingerboard on adjacent strings. I'll play my three. That's the mechanism that I'm looking for in this case. And I'll leave my two down and I try to train that finger to kind of have the same motion. I'll do the same with threes and fours. My three is pretty strong, my four not as much. So you can play copycat. If you have a finger that you really like, you can retrain another finger in, in that image. So those are some tips for controlling um, speed and width. Good luck.